Do I have to wash my paint roller in between coats? Hey guys, welcome to All You Above. My name is Brittany, and I'm so excited to be here and to give to you today's video. Today is a room transformation video where I'm going to take you through the process of me changing my room. Uh, if you've followed me on Instagram, I'm a kind of, or if you've followed me on YouTube, like for previous videos, kind of giving you like a little sneak peeks here and there. But now it's time to wrap up this whole entire project. I've been, it's taken so long because I wanted like everything to be like complete and finished. Um, but I, that's just not gonna happen. It's gonna be, the main stuff is um, finished. It's just like some cosmetic things that I would like to change and adjust. So <laughs> I'm just gonna take you through the process of getting to this place where I am today. But let's talk about like what my room was before. So at the beginning of 2021, I like, moved into like where I am staying now and like none of the rooms were like complete or finished and basically I was just kind of like throwing pieces together that were like around the house that I found around the house to like make my room at least functional so I had like this big brown I don't know like TV stand basically I have that and pretty much is that it? <laughs> I think that was pretty much it but I used for a next thing I just used like just random stuff I found around the house which was cool or whatever it was fine um, my, also, my room didn't have, like, lines, it had, like, this curtain, like, this makeshift curtain. I'm not even sure it was totally functional, but I really wanted to get some blinds, and I just kind of wanted to redo the room. So, in August, I decided to do that. Um, I really wanted to highlight, like, this video is definitely, like, the before and after is definitely important, but, like, the process of getting here is kind of what I wanted to highlight in this video, just to show, like, that process was crazy, but we'll get to it in a second. Um, so I decided to start small, right? So I decided to put quarter round trim pieces around the baseboards of my room. And that was easy. It took a little bit of manual work. I had to like saw lumber. It was quite an experience. Um, but I was taking the quarter round pieces and putting them on the baseboards of my room. And I got to the fourth wall, the last wall, and I realized that I couldn't, could not put the last piece of quarter round on because there was like this large crack that was separating the door frame for my closet from the actual wall. So I couldn't get like an actual, an accurate measurement for the quarter round piece because like the door frame will basically flex in and out. So I needed to fix that crack. So I walked in <laughs> to my closet and on the back side of my door frame for my closet, there was like this large crack. Like It wasn't a crack, it was this large hole, like empty space where the door frame and the wall didn't meet and there wasn't framing for the closet door on the back side of the wall which was odd and weird and I was just like it's not the vibe it's not the look at all, at all. Um, and that's when I learned that those walls are like made of cement or something they're not made of drywall and they're made of cement which we will get to later which comes into issues later um so I was like okay fine I'm gonna stop working on my room which was like my main project and I'm going to just spend some time kind of getting my closet together <clears throat> but my closet like had a lot of issues like I thought that my room was going to be like the biggest project but technically like fixing my closet was like the biggest project of this all um so let's go down the list of things that were an issue one, it had no baseboard or quarter round trim around the base of the closet. Two, the closet system that was in there originally was like this makeshift closet system. It was like two pieces of plywood 
um, held up by like two pieces of wood that were secured to the walls that I took down and then this really heavy like metal pole that I kept on hitting my head on every time like I walked into the closet and I was just like this is just not functional because I couldn't see because my closet isn't like deep but it's wide so I couldn't really see to like what was to the left or to the right of my closet unless like I actually like dug down there and also I couldn't see because there was no lights in my closet which was another issue so I started by taking like removing all of the items so just taking everything out um and that was basically the start of like everything like my room being in a disarray for like four months that's enjoy um and my father definitely helped me a lot through this project uh but the first thing was getting the door frames we had like one third of the door frame already here but we still had to go buy a piece for like the other side it was like a whole thing um also there was cracks in the walls that needed to be plastered so Every day like after work, I would just like work on my room just a little bit at a time and like plastering those walls and then I was like manually sanding them down. <laughs> I was manually sanding them down at first and I was just like, what up? This ain't gonna work. I need like a, a an automatic sander. Um, so my dad unfortunately had one and so that was very helpful in like sanding down all of the um texture that was on the walls so i did that and then i don't know what happened next um <laughs> after the trim for the back side of the door and like that uh separation in the wall basically that it wasn't a hole it was like a section of the wall that wasn't complete once that was complete and put in some place um then my dad went back in and did the baseboards and the trim and installed those into the closet um so now everything was like cool but it was just like i felt like everything was just taking a long time i still didn't figure out what closet system i wanted i didn't figure out like a lot of like logistics so one saturday i got fed up and i was just like i need to see progress and i need to see progress now <laughs> First and foremost, first and foremost, in this whole process, I really feel as though I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, like, isn't, it, isn't that life? So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, and, like, everything is kind of all over the place. No, that's so not true. Everything isn't all over the place, but I still just don't feel like I know what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to take it day by day and, like, figuring it out. And sometimes, like, I mess it up more than what it needs to be and now i just realized that there's a mirror right next to me that needs to leave the room anyway <laughs> um let's i was saying that earlier that i need to sit down and like have a video talking about like everything that transpired and like what's going on because i feel so i just have like a whole bunch of random clips just random clips from like the little bit that I take because like majority of the time I work on my room in the evening so this whole project started with me saying oh, hey I want to do my room I might I want my room to be like sort of like a, a sanctuary a peaceful like place that like, I come to at the end of the day that it's just like the best room in the house for me and like epic and amazing and like great places to film um and it's just beautiful and it's nice and lovely and it just really suits me so when i came here <clears throat> when i moved here originally initially i put up like i've been traveling around for like multiple places with these wall maps like these blue and like wide like travel plan wall maps like the world and that was really my thing for a very long time <clears throat> for a very long time and it suited me how uh, why is there a fly in here? Okay, anyway. However, um, after some time, I'm just kind of over it. But, let's get started, because... Yeah. 
So that Saturday, I decided to paint my closet. But first, I needed to sand my closet down another two times because I knew that like I wanted the walls to be like as smooth as possible. And for that, the only way for that to be possible is if like I sand it like them down. And even then, they probably wouldn't be perfect. But as long as I did as much as I could do. So I sanded the walls twice. And pro tip, pro tip, when you sand, it might, like, it might be a good idea to, like, wear a mask, even some glasses. It would probably be a good idea. Did I do that the first and second time that I sanded? No, but the third time I did, I did do that. Um, <laughs> so I was sanding the walls, and then, <clears throat> I have notes, but, like, Forget about the notes. Um, I was sanding the walls. I'm sorry, I'm like looking at my closet to see what happened next. Sorry about that. Um, so I was sanding the walls and then I was like done and I was like, okay, okay, now it's time to paint. So let's talk about paint colors. I wanted something for my room, like the vision for my room. I wanted it to be like warm and inviting. Um, I wanted it to be like neutral colors, but I didn't want it to be like, I didn't want it to be like a masculine. I wanted to have like some type of like femininity to it, some softness to it. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted for my room. So I was thinking about doing like stark white, like a stark white room, but like that was just like too like clean. It just felt very sterile, you know, like a hospital type, type vibes. I was just like I don't want that I want something a little bit warm so I went with the color ivory which is on this wall here um and then I found I went in the accent wall and I was designing my room and kind of like drawing it out to see how I wanted it to look for a while and see like what wall was going to be my accent wall and so I decided the wall with the window was going to be the accent wall and this color right here is Herb Cornucopia. Um, so those were like the two staple colors except like white which I did for like the baseboards and the trim and things of that nature. So for my closet the base wall like the wall color was ivory so I painted the color the wall ivory and i also painted the ceiling like i don't know if there's like a rule or like what is painting etiquette like what is painting etiquette because one for like my accent wall and the rest in the ivory color i used two different paint brands like is that allowed like not is it allowed because i did it but like is there a reason why people say don't do that and two i painted the ceilings in my closet like am i supposed to do that or am i not supposed to do that is that bad I'm not sure, but um, I painted the walls as well as the ceiling two coats of paint, and then it was pretty much done. Like the like wasn't well, done. The painting was done. The foundation of the closet was pretty much done um, after I went back and painted the baseboards. Um, and I know that I'm saying these things like after like, one after the other, like they happened in the same week, the same month, um, but they did it at all whatsoever um so after i finished um painting basically my my room and all my stuff was still in a disarray because i couldn't really use my closet because there was no closet system but then but then i decided on what closet system that i wanted and i wanted my closet to be like this kind of like a mini like walk-in closet like a micro walking closet so i put a closet system on the left side like the far left wall and the far right wall so that i'm able to like basically walk in and i can see all of my stuff and it's not like oh my closet's like this deep dark hole that like the very very back of it i don't know what's back there like i know everything that's in my closet and i can see it like when i walk in um and i got my closet system from <laughs> good old ikea like ikea is like flesh like has it ever failed you has it ever failed me i don't think so so um i went and i got the voxel system from ikea um for the left side part i just got like the pre-made package for the voxel system and then for the left side i kind of picked and choose what items i needed so i could get the look that i wanted 
the right side of my closet came first and I unboxed that and that was actually pretty easy to install because that wall was drywall. But the right side wall in like installing it, like I'm pretty sure like it's cement, like it's some type of cement. I have no idea like what the correct term for it is, but it feels like cement. And um, I use like a diamond cutter, like a diamond drill to like drill in the holes, which I made too big and we're in the wrong places. So somebody had to go back and like fix my mistakes, but it's up now. Um, and so after I got the organizers up, that was like kind of like okay now we just have to work on the lights and the main big thing was that when you opened up my closet door there was this like large blank wall that i wanted to do something with um but i didn't know what i was going to do with it until much much later um so i was thinking about lights so what am i going to do about lighting because i feel like that's so so important like i'm going to have a functional closet Walking into darkness and trying to pick out your clothes is probably not ideal. But I also did not want to like rip off, like rip open the walls to add new wiring for like recess lighting above. So what I decided to do was to go to Amazon and get some motion sensor lights. Um, they were pretty inexpensive. The only like qualm that I think that some people might have about them is that you do have to charge them like every two weeks like in the two weeks is like when the light gets dim is when i charge them like when the light gets dim um but like every two weeks i charge them i put them back that's fine and then my dad made this took two pieces of lumber and made like this pointed pointed edge so that when it's secured to the ceiling the lights are at an angle instead of straight down and then i painted that her cornucopia just to continue with the theme um, and then yeah, that's it for right now for my closet. So I was like, okay, cool, I'm done. Now I can actually work on my room, which was like crazy. So I got to my room, I patched up the basically crack that was between the wall and the door frame. Patched that up as well as some other imperfections that I saw around the room and then it was to um, seal off my window seal because I painted, I uh, stained it this redwood color. I'm really going for like a very much Christmas theme, uh, I guess, vibe, especially like on this wall because it's like red and green. Um, yeah, so I sanded, sanded it down and then I painted, I um, stained it redwood and then I had to seal it. And the next thing was just painting. So I painted my room. I painted this color first and it took three days to paint this whole room. Um, I'm sorry, before you can even paint, <laughs> before I can even paint, I'm gonna get ahead of myself. I had to tape, painter's tape, like frog. I used the frog, the green frog painter's tape. Um, and I had to like basically tape everywhere. And like, honestly, I really felt like I was gonna fall off the ladder. It was like really like the ladder was heavy. It was like ooh hot mess. But we did it though. So I had to tape over everything just so because I don't I'm an amateur, like I don't paint often. So did that. Mmm, interruption. <laughs> so I had to paint over no, I had to tape of everything, which took a day. And then the second day I painted, I started with her cornucopia over here, which I've only did one coat of pretty good and then I painted over that um, the oh taping okay so let's go back to taping a little bit what I learned um none of these walls like no matter how you like think or believe or see them like none of them are straight 
like none of them no, none of them <laughs> none of them none of them are straight and i was just like mm, mm, mm. it was very difficult to paint and like to make it look like the lines especially for the accent walls were like straight like even the line behind me it might look straight to you in the camera it's not it's a lie it's a lie but anyway we'll get to that so i had to figure out like how i was going to like take for the accent wall which trial and error I had to like paint twice um, but I painted the herb cornucopia or this green color first and then I painted uh, the other colors ivory which took two days because I had to do like two coats of paint because I did like a wall and a half of two coats of paint and then I had to do like another wall and a half of two coats of paint that's kind of how I did it because I was doing, like, I was doing all of this after work, so by the time I was done, it was, like, 12 o'clock, and I was just like, yeah, I'm done for the day, I'm going to sleep. So, um, that was painting, and that took a long time, and that is, like, when really, like, the volcano erupted in terms of my stuff being everywhere, like, because I had to move everything out of my room, so my stuff was, like, everywhere. And then, and then it was kind of, we're finished with that and we had to paint the, i think i know i painted the baseboards before i painted the walls but the baseboards were painted i had to do like a lot of cosmetic clean, cleaning up and just touching up of things putting back the um outlet covers when i took those off i was going to paint them green so that would have been really nice but the the, the outlet covers are too smooth so they wouldn't like keep like the color if that makes sense like it would like rub off easily so i was just like hmm, scratch that idea we try um uh what else what else i'm sure there's so much else i'm sure there's so much else um but now it's kind of like the end and we just kind of had to put everything back together Hey guys, so this is like real time, real time Brittany, real time, and my hand hurts from holding this camera. Anyway, so yesterday night I finished painting, so painting was kind of like a two day, a dos day job, and so I finished yesterday. Basically, what I wanted to say was I was painting and I was doing all this stuff, and I just wanted to like. I'm so grateful. I'm just so immensely grateful. Like, so grateful. So grateful. Just to be able to do this. And don't get me wrong, like, I never questioned me doing this, but I have that, like, do I really want to do it? <laughs> Are we going to do this? Especially up in those corners. Like, I know it doesn't seem high on camera it's so tall it's so tall like it's literally it has to be like at least 11 feet up i'm like 5'4 and i had to like use the fucking ladder to get up there and it was really get out so so my dad helped me prior to me painting to uh put an outlet behind um where my tv was gonna go so that my cables could be hidden and so he helped me with that so it's mounting the tv putting my bed back in my room and then my one of my favorite parts was installing the floating shelves okay so i wanted floating shelves because i wanted it to look like my this wall this her cornucopia how like was like extended so basically it had two floating shelves that i colored or painted green like her her cornucopia color um and then i installed those and no i'm looking at them now they look really nice and cute and i like them they help my books and stuff it's amazing so i did that and the last thing was just to install the blinds that i was just like enthralled about installing and they're really nice as well and so 
Um, the last a couple things were I wanted to figure out things that would go on my wall and I kind of figured that out as well as I wanted to have in this corner of my room that you're seeing me and now I wanted to have a seating chair and it took me a very very long time to find a chair that I wanted to be like comfortable enough like cozy but like not too big because it is a smaller space in here um, and I realized that furniture or the furniture that I like is expensive, which is okay, but it's expensive. So I got this chair pretty inexpensively from Target. It's like this faux leather chair that's super comfortable. Um, it's really nice for reading and it's nice. <laughs> so that is, I'm trying to think of, is there anything else? Is there anything else? That was a long process that basically I started at the end of August and is still a work in progress, but pretty much is finished in December. Um, oh, I totally forgot. So for that back wall um, that my closet, like when I opened up the door for my closet and it was blank, you saw it on like last week's video if you watched it, but basically what I decided to do was to install a mirror on that wall so that when I, I opened it, like I could see my outfits and like step out of the the closet to like see my outfits and it's worked very very well um so that is what i did so much for watching today i totally totally appreciate it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and just seeing kind of like my failures through the whole thing but yeah so that is it have a great rest of your day and goodbye because we're not done we're not done